Welcome back everyone. We are going to be talking about my top five concealers at the drugstore. This was a really, really hard video, you guys. And the reason is, is because I do have a very favorite at the drugstore and we're gonna count backwards towards that one and the one that I love the most. But a special welcome to you. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of our family. Thank you so much if you've been here with me for a very long time. I love you guys very much and I appreciate the support so much. Please, if everyone wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, it just takes a second and it does help my video out a whole bunch. So we're gonna get into the top five starting with five and then we're gonna go backwards to my number one drugstore concealer that won't crease it won't make you look like you've got more underneath your eyes going on and I am wearing two of these today one on each eye so hopefully we'll get into that you can tell which one I'm wearing on each eye and then we'll go from there let's get into this video right now okay I do want to mention before we get into this that right before this video I put up my concealer routine that's gonna help you to see how I actually get rid of how dark my circles are. But the tools that I employed the most are the Catrice Under Eye Camouflage Primer. I love this stuff. Very little bit goes a long ways. Also the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, Correctors. This one is in peach. You can get an orange one if you have deeper skin. You can even go all the way to red if you have really deep skin. So the peach works great for me because I'm pasty. So yeah, I love that. So <laughs> I'm going to start off with one that doesn't get a lot of attention here on YouTube and I'm not exactly sure why. I really like the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild and they don't have a big shade range. It is kind of sucky. It really is terrible, but I do love this formula and I've loved it for a long time. And I love that it has a little bit of the yellow in it. That is well, is one thing that I will say about taking care of this whole under eye area. If you have really purple look under there, no amount of putting a pinkish or a neutral concealer on there is going to give you a good look because all it's going to do is make those look a little bit more discolored. It's going to get, keep that cool tone going and we want to counteract that cool tone we want to use something that might have a tad bit yellow in it and that might sound a little bit foreign to everybody but if you think about it yellow is the opposite of purple on the color wheel so we're counteracting that we do counteract it a lot with the peach but sometimes you have to get into these concealers to do that too so this one right here i believe this is in light that's usually what i buy no matter what i buy but that one right there Let's see if we can get a really good look at it here. But what I love about this one particularly is it doesn't take a lot to get it to do its job. You don't want to pounce your finger over there and just blend everything out. If you use a brush, you don't want to continue to blend and blend and blend. While it's wet, you're going to blend away your product. Beauty Blender will pick it up. The brush will pick it up. Your finger's going to eventually pick it up. So I'm going to show you a trick that will really help with that. Um, when we get into the next one, it, it's the one that you absolutely have to do this with. So I'm just going to tell you, I like the way that this applies. I like that it covers horrible, horrible dark circles. And I like that it doesn't crease if you employ how I applied it in that other video. So make sure that you watch that video. But I do like this. It is a really good color for me as far as being a little bit on that yellow tone. It's not too thick that it's going to get into the creases and stay there. Some of us have that no matter what. Let's get real, okay? This is our problem area. This is the area where we have to get realistic about our aging. It's where I sweat when I get hot flashes. It's where in the humidity we sweat. It's where you're gonna get those creases because we smile and grin and don't use it, lose your smile because you don't wanna get creasing on your concealer. So definitely love this one and it's probably the most affordable of all of them that I have in here as well. So that is number five. Now in at number four, let me tell you, I love this serum concealer from number seven. And this one is in light as well. Again, not a huge shade range, shame on them. Hopefully these companies will get it. Let's put a bigger shade range in there. Now this one does have almost the exact color of my eyes. Let me tell you how I do use this one. So go ahead and put this on your eyes and you're gonna really just kind of take this doe foot applicator and you're just gonna pounce that around until you have a fairly good coat on there. And then you have to let it sit and you have to let it sit for quite a while. As a matter of fact, I'll let it sit. I'm doing all of my other makeup. I love the way that this looks 
but it won't cover. You're gonna wipe it away really quickly unless you let it sit that whole time. You have to get in the habit of doing that with your thinner concealers if you have really dark circles like I do. Now, if you have medium dark circles or you have really light and all you wanna do is just you know bring some light to that, these ones that are thinner are great. So the, I would say that this one is a medium coverage, maybe even a light coverage, but I really like that it doesn't make me look extra dry because it is that serum and it has all those good ingredients in it. And this one will almost completely set down by itself. So take care to not use too much powder on top of this one. The other ones you might have to use a little bit more. And the last one that I talk about, I do have to use powder on because my under eyes will start to look really nasty if I don't. Okay, in at number three is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I really like this, you guys. This is one of my very favorites as far as how good it is about covering. I think mine is in C7. Yes, it's in C7. So mine is a little bit lighter. I use one dot. One dot, that's it. I don't want to get this so thick that I can't just dot it out with my finger. And this is one that you can, again, you can work with this quite quickly. When you're on this inward part, don't bounce your finger around there too much to wipe too much away. Just leave that part a little bit and kind of work with all of this around here. If you put it down on your cheeks like I do because I have such bad sunspots, then you're gonna wanna make sure you work with that. And then you can go back in and very, very lightly just blend that out in that cavern that is the darkest. That's where the circle is, right? That's it right there. So this one works so good. It doesn't dry me out. I have very dry under eyes unless I sweat. So we need that balance. And this one seems to be able to give it once I do the whole entire routine. Love this one, it's a really good one. Okay, in at number two is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, but this is the hydrating one. This one is the one that I have on my eye today on this side, and I really like the way that this one lays down. I love how it covers. I love that it has that hydrating property. It covers a little bit better than the Makeup Revolution as far as I'm concerned. I like color a little bit better. I think that this one is in light peach, and I like the color a little bit better because it does have a little bit more of the color correcting in it at the same time as being able to um, cover really well and not dry you out once it sets down. And this one, same thing as the Makeup Revolution one we just talked about. You have to let it sit there for a second, especially in that deep cavern right there, and then go in and blend it out. Coverage is so good on it and it lasts for all day and that's the thing that i like about these when i do this routine on the other video that you need to see once i do that all of these are going to last on me all day long so, so love that one as well and my holy grail one from the drugstore that i love this has been in my last video that i did of my under eyes this is the makeup revolution revolution pro an ultimate coverage crease proof concealer and this one is in c6 but what you're going to do with this it comes out Hopefully this is going to be able to be seen. This is all you need. You need the tiniest, tiniest dollop of that. I mean, I'm talking the size of a pen, the tip of a pen. You don't need very much of this. You need so little. And what's going to happen when you start to work with this, this is extremely emollient. It's extremely creamy. This is a dupe for the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes. So if you've tried that before and you didn't like it, it might have been just because you used too much, but it also might be that you don't like this creamy of a concealer. This is just super duper creamy. So it is on this eye. I did work with it on the other products that I used on it in order to keep it from creasing throughout the day. What I love about it though is its coverage. It's so brightening and it covers with so little. I mean, look how much I've still got on my finger. And it's just completely covered that out and it's so pretty, you guys. It, it works so well because of how dry and how many wrinkles I have underneath there. And I feel like as long as I set it down that it's not going to make me look more dry. That's what I really love about it is it's beautiful blendability. It just works so good and it doesn't make me look dry. And partway through the day, nothing's gonna be peeking through. It just is, it's so gorgeous, I love it. And hopefully you will get some really good tips out of that video. I'm gonna make sure that I link it down below, throw it up here in a card so that you can see it. Um, I probably did that earlier in this video, but you guys, 
guys, definitely check that out because it's not only just the concealers that we have, it's definitely about the actual way that we do apply it and the other products we use besides just the concealers. But all of these concealers that I've shown you, except for the number seven one, this is a medium to light coverage. All the rest of them are full coverage. And that's what I love about them. I have bad, bad dark circles. So you're going to be able to cover them up and you're going to be able to have that beautiful canvas. And you're gonna be able to still get the brightness with the coverage and not have it crease throughout the Thanks day. Thanks so, so much for spending a bit of your day with me today. I hope that one of these will work for you and maybe you already have them. Maybe you're already using them. Maybe you have a concealer that you think is the best. Let me know all that information in the comment section below so that we can open up a discussion and talk about concealers and how horrible this whole area is for us as women. It is our most challenging makeup area, I feel like. Uh, it's one of those ones that you can put it on, go out, be two hours later, look in the mirror and go, holy crap, what just happened to my eyes? <laughs> Thank you guys so much again. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. I love you very much. Stay safe, stay sanitized, stay hydrated if it's hot where you're at. And I love you and I'll see you all in my very next video. Take care, bye bye guys.